first question. I mean, can you comment on Yatsenyuk's announced departure? I mean, is this real, or can we expect him to stay around for longer? No, I think this is a real decision to to resign because uh, I think there is some agreement found between oligarchs, president, and political parties to establish new government and new coalition, and there are going to be two parties. People's Front and the Bloc of Poroshenko, and they collected enough members of two factions to have majority, and they're going to first to vote uh, uh, resignation of Yatsenyuk and then to appoint Grossman as a prime minister. And unfortunately for me, the bigger part of consensus is oligarchs. They're, they are involved in process. They're going to be beneficiary of this new coalition. And so if and when Grossman appears on, as a vote for prime minister, I'm not going to vote for Grossman because I don't believe in his skills as a reformer. And he's not the real reformer for such situation, and he's too close to president. And there is a permanent risk of some uh, conspiracy. And this is going to be a conspiracy. And uh, unfortunately for me, the part of this conspiracy is the uh, interest of oligarchs. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately for me, this new coalition for his appointment as a prime minister is based on the so-called adding new members of parliament to two biggest factions on not very fair basis. I think there is going to be some repay for these people who decided to join two factions. So there is no political motivation for them to join. The only motivation can be corruption. And could you name any I mean, specific oligarchs who have helped engineer the past, this most recent event? I think uh, Kolomoisky and Dachmetov, they will enjoy a new coalition. Mm -hmm. They will enjoy a new government with Grossman because, uh, from my sources, they uh, achieved some agreement for next uh, sh short period of time. Uh, regarding Kolomoisky, it's some restructuring of his debts, uh, which private man has. Uh, regarding uh, Ahmetov, this is more about tariffs for uh, power for, for power stations. So, I mean, if there are so many problems with the political situation right now, I mean, why are you still in block with the Poshenko? Uh, because this is a situation which was established two years ago when <laughs> legislation election was made on the corrupt uh, law, mm -hmm. when you can be a member of parliament or either through corrupt uh, districts or from party list. And if you are a member of faction elected through party list, you have to stay in the faction unless you lose your mandate, as Firsov did. He made the mistake, I think. He made a uh, fight against corruption in parliament uh, much less effective because we lost him as a, as a fighter. And uh, instead of him, uh, parliament was uh, another another member of parliament joined the faction, and I don't. Uh, I'm not sure that this person can be so effective in this fight against corruption as Firsa was. So you think it's possible to change from within? It's still possible, of course, but it's possible on everyday basis. Mm -hmm. When as much members of parliament are as many members of parliament are against corruption, as more effective this fight is.